This is WCCS News, Channel 19, Fort Worth, Texas, in all things truth preeminent. Good evening, I'm Indy. And I'm Ron. And welcome to the evening news. Tis the season of proms, college acceptances, and robes and tassels. Yes, my friends, it is high school graduation season. Tonight we are focusing on a local school whose seniors have created quite a stir. We go now to Melania for our special report. This is Melania reporting live from Cavity Classroom School. We have a fresh batch of seniors ready to graduate and move on to bigger and better things. But what makes this class extra special? Let's take a closer look at the Cavity Classroom School class of 2019. This class of eight students has been hardworking and relatively unobtrusive in past years. Yet something happened in 2018 in the town of Nathrop Hall that changed the path of these seniors and all who came in contact with them. Abby, tell us how you feel about the seniors. I'm going to miss them so much. They just really meant a lot to me. They were such huge leaders in Colorado. It's just going to be really hard to fill their shoes. Now, Connor, what kind of impact have the 2019 seniors had on you? These year's seniors, they've been such good leaders, such good role models in our school. Starting the worship night that they did and just uh, setting the example for what it looks like to be a godly woman uh, or man of Christ. Uh, that's through sports, through worshiping, or they just set a great example there and a great path to follow. So we're going to miss y'all. Good evening, I'm Indy. And I'm Ron. Welcome to Evening News of WCCS Channel 19, Fort Worth, Texas, and all things truth preeminent. Twenty years ago, we did a feature story on the Covenant Cavaliers Class of 2019. We go now live to Melania for a follow-up story concerning this special group. Cassidy, what have you been up to? I became a leader against human trafficking and I started my own equestrian center, but now I am happily married and I have three beautiful kids. I'm part ownership in Chick-fil-A. I'm here with Catherine Sheffron. Now Catherine, what have you been up to? Well, now I'm a neurosurgeon, a business owner, and a leading practitioner of Eastern medicine and Western civilization. However, I also own my own acupuncture clinic that serves shaved eyes to my clients. The idea took off, and now it's called Stick It To Me. I'm now married with three kids and a dog named Vanilla Ice. I'm here with David Jacks, former Covenant Classical student. Now David, it's been 20 years since you graduated. What have you been up to? Well, I graduated from Baylor undergrad in med school with high honors, and then I formed my own line of clinics. We are proudly the only clinics in the world that offer stand-up comedy, but I am also the proud father of a young boy and younger girl who are all devoted Calvinists. Oh, so, so you don't go to Christ Chapel? Of course not. Sarah, tell us about your life over the last 20 years. I made it big on Broadway and the big screen. I starred as Dolly in Hello Dolly, Sandy in Grease, Cosette in Les Mis, and Annie Oakley in Annie Get Your Gun. I live in Hollywood with my family now. I champion the rights of those who cannot speak for themselves. The animals. My animal neuter campaign, It's What's Underneath That Counts, has made a huge impact. And I am currently working in the new production of Beauty and the Beast, as Belle. Wow, that's really amazing, Sarah. Congrats on your outstanding career. Well, I am pretty incredible. Now, Vera, it's been almost 20 years since you graduated Covenant Classical. Now, Miss Fontenot, tell me, how have you been holding up? Well, I currently live on a ranch in Wyoming with my husband and my two children. I also, I teach literature at Cambridge University. Oh, my favorite course that I teach is about the hidden meanings of the Harry Potter series. I also I write my own novels. My latest one is actually coming out soon. It's called um, I Did It, and it's about my emotions and the struggles behind opening a water bottle. Because people don't know how hard it can be, but... Now to catch up with Zach McDonald. Zach, what have you been up to over the last 20 years? <laughs> I'm a successful psychologist. And I offer the therapy and to those in need. And I lead worship at my church the best-selling author of a book titled, That I Can Make You Cry. I have, I have a wife and three kids, and I'm so happy with them. Just, just a hug. Okay, just, no. Just, Caleb, what have you been up to? Well, over the past uh, 20 years, I've um, become one of the leading sports agents in basketball, and I've signed some of the biggest names. I also signed with the Garnier Fructis, called Mop It Up. 
and I'm happily married. And I have four boys, two daughters, all over six feet tall and uh, long, long, let's just say. Now, Luke, what have you been up to over the last 20 years? Now, I'm advertising for Apple, and I've been promoted as the assistant to the manager for coming up with this troubleshooting slogan, getting to the core of the issue. I've also created an organization for the underprivileged, which teaches both athletic and computer skills while promoting the gospel. Also happily married uh, with a family of nine. Thank you, Melania and Ivanka. What a blessing these eight individuals were and continue to be. We were excited to get to know and love such a rare group of students back in 2019, and we look forward to seeing what become of them further down the road. We wish you the best in all that you do, class of 2019. Good, Good night, night and God, God bless. bless.